back after being in Constance in Mulligan and hopefully today the plan is to complete the climbing wall but the problem is after party yesterday I got up super late <laughs> normally I get up at 7.30 and it's cold and I'm not used to working in the snow even this thick of snow we'll see I hope to get it done oh it's everywhere <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was not that bad we'll see hope instead of working outside in the cold because I'm going to be oiling this which the oil won't like run as easy if it's freezing because it's like negative two degrees outside um i'm in the bottom story of the house not the basement that's underneath but like ground floor and i'm going to be oiling it in here hopefully coming up pretty good we got all the holds stuff like that and our bottom piece that goes along this end we still got to make a ramp coming off but i think i'll make that a bit later but i just want to hopefully get it all done put in place and then i can do like the measurements for the ramp once everything's there because i can do the measurements from the ground and all that we can get the, sl the slope right but yep that's the plan at the moment the oil's upstairs by the fire because pretty cold like gluggy so we're trying to heat it up we'll, we'll see after taking the oil up to the fire to get it less congealed we're ready to start oiling these in those little holds and it's just a waiting hour for that hopefully I can use that time to find source a piece of wood that is the same size so we can make a ramp. That's the plan at the moment, oil time. Go have a look at this. Look at that. Can't really see it too much in the light, but that's so much better. And this is just like coat one, when it absorbs in, and then we have to put it like another coat, but apparently it takes like a couple of days before it fully absorbs. So we'll have to see how long that takes, but this was before and that's after. Complete difference. Sorry about the the waving light in the video. It's these lights, they kind of do that to this camera. But yeah, much better. Can't wait to, to get this board done and these. I think what I'll do is I'll oil this whole thing and then paint these I just leave them on top because all the excess oil that's on this should just drip through because I don't think it's like going to be sticky and rip anything so that might work we'll see okay finished like lacquering the table not lacquering I'm oiling oiled these things they came up pretty good and I also oiled the plastic ones because they're a bit sun fading and I'm hoping that the oil like brings the colour back and like put a bit of moisture in them so they stop cracking and stuff like that. But yeah, there's some parts that I think they still have lacquer on them from like previous, previously, but like it's just faint. I hope the oil still gets through and keeps it safe. Now, it's mostly just a waiting game other than I've got to oil that board but then it's just waiting until it all like seeps in I'm not sure if you can see but like this is a bit drier in parts but it's gonna like like down there is a bit more drier than like here and stuff but it's gonna take a while because like it's cold I don't know what the room temperature is but I'll have a look outside it was 2 minus 2 before but well, let's go temperature it is Zero degrees. <laughs> Zero degrees in Mullingen and it's just at the moment zero zero 
goes to one degree at 6 p.m. The rest of the night, it goes negative one. Yeah, it's negative one pretty much all night until about 11 tomorrow. Then it turns to one degree. So it like goes zero, then one degree. But yeah, I think it's going to take a while, maybe a couple of days, because most of the week is negative five, negative three, negative one. I think the hottest day is a negative one day. So, fingers crossed that this does not take the week to soak in, but we'll see. Everything's done being oiled, including my hand, that's oily as. But yeah, this came up the best, I reckon, nice and dark, but it's the same wood as this. So maybe, I don't know, maybe after a couple more layers, this will get darker. Maybe I'll put a heap more on that, I don't really, not really sure. But yeah, now we're just waiting for that to dry. Might go outside and see if I can find a board that's the same width across and then start working on like the design for the ramp because I really can't do anything else until that's all dry. And I think tomorrow, hoping that it absorbs in, like it's still pretty, pretty oily. Hoping that it absorbs in at least enough to put a second coat. Because I think I want at least three coats, maybe four max. Just so it's like fully treated, fully good. Because I don't want the wood to dry. And I think, I'm not sure. Someone tell me in the comments. I think wood in cold weather turns brittle and like cracks easier. I know it doesn't dry with it as well, because that's just all the moisture is going out, but I think because it freezes and stuff like that, but it's going to be inside. But if it loses moisture, it will also crack. So the plan is to oil it, so since it's inside near a fire, the moisture stays there, it gets this cool colour. I think oiling it also like stops termites and stuff like that, and just like wood rot maybe, I don't know. I've done no research. <laughs> I just oiled it because I think it does some good stuff. <laughs> but yeah, and it looks good. You can't tell me it does not look good. I don't even know what this oil is, if it's like linseed oil or anything. But hopefully it works. Hopefully it's good. Finish cleaning out the brush and go outside. Gotta try to find the ramp part of the build now. Let's see if I can find a piece of wood that's wide enough, that wide enough and long enough so it can be cut down hopefully or just used perfectly as a ramp. It's snowed. Well it's snow it's snowing slightly now. So it might get thicker. It's actually already quite thick as it is. Kinda cool. But this is the same board of the original, but well, the same sort of wood and everything that we used for everything so far. But I don't think it's wide enough because we need enough of a ramp to, to go up. So I might have to look for something like this. Yeah, that doesn't work because it's got these lips. We have to cut the lips. Mm. I'll have a look over here, but we might just end up having to use that board and make it like a steeper incline. I don't think we've got enough boards that are just wide. Grab some snow. It's so cold. And I love when it's just compacted, you can just throw it. I tried to hit the top of this. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. If there is a board that is wide and long enough, so we've got boards like this, which are obviously wide enough, but 100% not long enough. And we try making one out of these pallets and stuff. Oh, an ice crystal. That's kind of cool. Ice cool. Out of these pallets and stuff, but I don't think so. What's under here? An old tree. 
that's not useful. I think we're just gonna have to use our original board to make the rear a little bit inclined, but I think for that I'll wait until the oil's done and completed. Everything's up and then I can start picking boards and be like get them to judge the incline because then they can just see it like in position. I think that's probably the best idea. Then because then it's up, it's done, and it just needs one board, which should be good. So I think it's gonna be a couple of days before we complete this task now, based on the fact that the oil is gonna take a while. Oh no, I'm pretty, pretty excited. So yeah, seeing we can't find another board and we have to wait for that oil to dry, I think we'll call it a day. Don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow other than oil that board and then figure it out, but we'll see.